Hello. Good evening, everyone. I'm starting a little early tonight. Good evening. Oh, hi, Megan. Hi, Margaret. <laughs> Megan said she remembered. Yay. Hi, Kara. Hello, Elsa. Welcome, welcome to Chaplet Mondays. I need, to make, I need to remember how to put the border on there. I need to play with that. Did you know we can turn on, we can turn on auto-generated captions. Those are funny when they try to guess your words and they can't understand the way you're speaking. That was pretty funny. Hello, Rosa. Long time no see. Hello, Debbie. Hi, Jordan. Hello, Elva. Welcome. Terry, you're back. Welcome, Terry. Hello, everyone. Hello. Jonathan, Ethan, and David are with us. Ethan's going to pray from over there. And David's going to pray from over there. No. Good evening, everyone. Yep. Good evening, Bernadette. All right. For those of you that already have your chaplet, Tonight is not St. Francis. I know we said that, oh, because said a couple weeks ago that tonight would be St. Francis because his feast day was yesterday. But the Spirit has been pushing for St. Peregrine. And so we are doing the Chaplet of St. Peregrine tonight. And some of you have already received one, so make sure you have it ready. This is similar to what it would look like. It has 21 beads. And no, it has no pendant beads. So it just goes metal, centerpiece, 21 beads. And um, when we were kind of researching this one, the standard is green beads, but um, I run out of green beads quickly. So this one's in blue and white. I know Sharon had some mixed ones as well, green ones, blue ones. Um, I really think that a chaplet can be any color you want it to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because it's really about the prayers and about the meditation uh, more than anything else. So, hello Gary and Kathy. Hi Georgia. Hello Francis. Kathy is kicking off our chaplet intentions. I love that. Um, so go ahead and remember to put all of your chaplet intentions inside. And I would especially ask that if you're comfortable with it, Anyone who has um, anyone who has struggled with cancer, if you feel comfortable enough to put it in the comments, I would like to lift you up specifically, or any family members that have cancer or have had cancer, even those who have passed away because of cancer. We will continue to pray for their souls and pray that they are at the feet of Jesus. They did enough suffering on earth. I I'm willing to bet that they um they experienced purgatory while they were here <laughs> and uh, it's like a straight shot to heaven mm -hmm. right yeah um he's like oh yay i got cancer that means i'm going to heaven even though it's no, so bad. i don't think they say yay but yeah and then i've got one with a tiny saint so johnny can i show him yours here we go so here's the one with the tiny is. saint he is really cute. They always are. St. Peregrine. Um, and he is always holding a cross. So he looks a little different in every every depiction, but he's always holding a cross. Somewhere. Somewhere. Mm-hmm. Here, Johnny. You want it? 
Oh, I'll put it right there, Jay. Whenever you're ready. He's eating oranges. Um, and so green is the standard when you find them online if you ever, you know, find a chaplet website and you want to order one. But other than that, um, you know, we have all different kinds. And I had the pleasure of making some of his um, metals as well. I really am loving having to make metals. And so I had found different depictions of him. This one he is I you make some today. sitting. Yes, I love that one. He's sitting and he's got the one part of his robe is always up. So he's always holding up one part of his robe to show his leg and it's bleeding because that's where he had cancer. So that's the other part of his depiction. You'll see him holding a cross because he believed and loved in Jesus, but he's showing his leg to show where he had cancer. So um, if you have ever had cancer or someone you know or love has cancer, we want to lift them up. All intentions are accepted. All intentions. Every intention is accepted. But if you have ever had cancer, um, I would like to lift you up, especially if you are still living with the fear that it may come back. I um, have never had cancer, but I imagine that every day, yeah, you're scared. And every time you go in for your yearly checkup or you maybe your twice a year checkup and you're just so afraid, of the results. I'm gonna lift up my friend Rachel who actually had her appointment today. I believe that it's clear, but I think that they've gotta wait for some other um, results as well. Um, and so I hope that you're comfortable. Those of you that have written down. Um, oh, Kara's talking about the color of the cancer ribbon is green, but I think that there's, there's other, right? There's other colors. Um, so let me start listing our intentions tonight. Um, number one, and I hope y'all don't mind, but number one, he is very deeply on my heart. I keep a picture of him and his parents as my background on my work computer, and I offer up every day for him, and it's Leo, one of our um, second year confirmation students um, who's, who's still struggling um, with uh, it's a very official name, but a form of bone cancer. And um, he just completed a round of chemotherapy. And so we're praying that it resolves. But you know what? Our God is a God of miracles and not just in the time of the Old Testament and the New Testament. Our God is a God of miracles today. And I do believe in God's healing power. I don't understand God's will. And I won't claim to know how God works or how he answers prayers. But I will make a bold prayer intention for the healing of Leo tonight. And me and my kids are going to be praying for that. And we are going to make that bold, that bold request of God to heal Leo. So that's our intention. Um, we lift up. Kathy's friend Lydia, who has been battling cancer off and on for 20 years. We pray for healing for Lydia. We pray for Kathy's neighbor, Charlie, who had thyroid surgery on Friday and praying for the results that it is not cancer. We are praying for Rosa's husband, that his test results come back okay from his endoscopy. So we pray for Rosa's husband. Bernadette would like to pray for all people who have cancer, especially her sister who does have cancer and needs prayers. We pray for Elva's friend, Ruth, who's battling cancer. Rosa would like to lift up all the souls that we have lost to cancer, family members, friends, coworkers. We lift up Bernadette. Bernadette is a cancer survivor. And we're so glad you're still with us, Bernadette. We lift up Kathy as she remembers her mother who passed away from cancer at the young age of 59. Man, Kathy, you were a baby when she passed. We pray for Leanne, who does not have cancer, but has other health issues. <laughs> um, we pray, Terry would like to pray for his friend, 36-year-old Ryan, is Ryan 36? 
Terry says he's suffering with pancreatic cancer stage four. And he's young. Oh, my goodness. We pray for the healing of Mary Olga Moreno's sister-in-law, Gloria, and also Vanessa on um, Instagram. We are lifting up other intentions as well. We are praying for Megan's husband, Toby, for their marriage, for every single one of their children, for Kara and her family and quick healing, for Jordan and her family, and all of the things that Jordan is carrying. Jordan, we pray for you and for healing for you as well. Margaret would like to lift up her grandmother, her Oma, her coworker, Julian, who is struggling with cancer now, we lift up her aunt Quincy who lost her battle to cancer. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry again. Margaret's grandfather, her opa who lost his battle. Her uncle Danny who lost his battle. Oh my gosh, Margaret. And for Margaret who is almost five years cancer free and we continue to pray for continued um, cancer to stay away from you, that you are free from it. And Megan, thank you. <sighs> Megan, we pray for all of her kids' teachers, coaches, and friends, and all the students that are back in school. We pray for Georgia's husband and her son who passed away from cancer. Georgia, I had no idea. And Terry said yes, his friend is 36 with stage 4 cancer. And we pray for Lenora's niece, Sandy, who is fighting cancer. I will just share that um, the boys are here, but when they see me get emotional, it makes them uncomfortable sometimes, and I think that they feel my pain. Johnny's here, David's here, Ethan's here. And so they understand the depth and the reality of um, the fact that you all are struggling or your friends are struggling or your family members are struggling with cancer, and we just lift them all up, right, Johnny? And, and we pray that Lenora never gets her cancer back. Amen. 20 years in September. All right. So let's pray to this guy, St. Peregrine, who experienced a miracle of his own. But you know what? Let's rewind a little bit to Peregrine's past. Um, Peregrine was not always a Christian. And I think that that part of his story is so beautiful. Such a beautiful part of his sacred story. Um, he was born to a wealthy family in 1260, so a few years ago in Italy. As a youth, he was super active in politics and he was actually part of the anti-pope party, anti-papal party. During one uprising or riot, let's put it in the word it's called, during the a riot, the Pope sent St. Philip Benizi to mediate and Peregrine struck him in the face. And let's say that in the way it was. He probably punched him in the face. Well, Philip offered his other cheek to Peregrine. And in that moment, Peregrine experienced conversion. He was so overcome that he repented and he became Catholic. Then he received a vision from Our Lady. How many of you have received visions from Our Lady? I never have. I don't know if I'm strong enough to, to do that. Um, he went to Siena and he joined the Servites, a religious order. It's believed that as a form of self-imposed penance, and I'm imagining for the years of being anti-Christian, that he was almost performing penance in order to apologize and, and make um, uh, a recompense for that. And he would stand all the time. He would never sit down. He never allowed himself to sit down for 30 years. One story said he developed severe varicose veins, that which might have led to the condition he experienced later. And he would also observe silence and solitude. Sometime later, he was sent back to Forley, where he was born to found a new house of the Servite Order. He had a reputation for incredible preaching. We all love great preachers and for being a great confessor. We all love a good confessor too, right? And then he was afflicted with cancer of the foot. And some stories say of the leg of the foot. His image has his leg bleeding, his calf 
is bleeding. Um, and the doctors decided that amputation would be the best solution, just to take the leg off. So he spent the night in prayer before he was supposed to have the operation. And the following morning, he was 100% cured. Cured. And this is 1260. Our God is a God of miracles to this day. The miracle caused his reputation to become widespread. He died in 1345 at the age of 85. And he was canonized by Pope Benedict the 13th in 1726. So almost 400 years later, he was canonized a saint. So that's the story of St. Peregrine. Um, and for many of you who have um, carried the cross of cancer, some of you knew him already. And I did not know him. And so I'm excited to get to know him. One thing that's really cool, and not all of you received it this way, but the prayer sheet that can be found on hrccr.com there's an image here, this one right here, and this is the stained glass window that comes from our mission church, St. Wenceslas in Beasley, Texas. So if you're ever in Beasley and you wanna stop by, there are so many saints on those stained glass windows and one of them is St. Peregrine, which is really cool. Also, if you received a chaplet from me early, I didn't have this prayer on the back and so you can find this prayer sheet online with this beautiful prayer, this will be our closing prayer. And I specifically picked this because this prayer is about and for cancer. And I realized that in praying all of this chaplet, um, it, it we needed something strong. We needed something strong. And so this is St. Peregrine's prayer for cancer. Chona, thank you for joining us. We're gonna be praying for Chona's father, Pedrito, Pedrito who passed away this time five years ago. So we pray for your consolation and for the sadness I'm sure you're experiencing as we near his anniversary. So I also lift up Michael's aunt, Rachel, who is still in um, the woodlands uh, going through treatment for her cancer. We pray for all those that have experienced cancer. I pray for Michael's mom who actually was healed of throat cancer years ago and it has not returned and we pray that it never returns. But I know that that is a very um, sensitive subject for them as well. And so we lift up Esther in prayer and for her continued um, health. All right, Johnny, you've got your chaplet and Ethan and David no, are just gonna say the prayers. Is. There you go. All right, so let's get started. Again, you can find this prayer sheet on hrccr.com and we will pray now to St. Peregrine. Thank you for all those that are joining us. If you have more intentions, please feel free to place them in the comments. Um, if I've missed any, just repeat them and I will continue to lift them up. Oh, I do pray for Miss Virginia, Miss Virginia Barella, who is a dear friend of mine and we've only met on Facebook. Her daughter is Maria and her Maria's son, Donnie, is in our faith formation program and I just love him. But we pray for Virginia who went today for one of her follow-ups and we pray that all of her results are beautiful and clear and good and we pray that she will remain that way with clear, beautiful results. And I pray that for all of you that still have to go back in for checkups regularly. So we'll start on the metal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And I almost forgot, this is not a cancer um, intention, but my mom and dad stopped by. My mom had her follow-up for her aneurysm. Today in Houston, she was given a clean bill of health, even though I really think the doctor should have told her to slow down. But she did ask that we pray that she has safe travels back to Corpus. So she and my dad are making the drive back to Corpus tonight while we're praying. So that's a three and a half hour drive, three, three to three and a half. So we pray for safe travels for both of them. Oh God, who gave to St. Peregrine an angel for his companion, the mother of God for his teacher, and Jesus as the physician of his malady, Grant, we beseech you through his merits that we may on earth 
intensely love our holy angel, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and our Savior, and in him bless them forever. Grant that we may receive the favor which we now petition. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we offer up all the intentions that we have stated and those that are in your hearts. On the first seven beads, we will pray the Our Father, and we will say the invocation to St. Peregrine, and everyone would re just respond with, pray for us. So, John, are you going to help me with the Our Father? Mm -hmm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Oh, I forgot the invocation. Holy Saint Peregrine. Pray for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Hail, uh, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Before we switch into the next seven beads, the Hail Mary, Kara would like to lift up her grandfather George, her grandmother Edna, her father Gus, all three have passed away, her friend Scott and her mom Marla, and of course, we offer up James again for his quick healing and for the safety and protection of your entire family, including your husband and his safe work trip. Um, and we lift up Lauren Doyle, a young mom fighting cancer in Minnesota. If any of you have seen that post shared on Facebook, her cancer is aggressive and she has babies at home and she's desperate to stay with them. Melissa. All right, we begin the second set of seven beads, and these will be the Hail Mary, again with the invocation to St. Peregrine after each one. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy St. Peregrine, pray for us. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. We welcome Martha and Hi, and we pray for both of you. Thank you for joining us. Now we enter into the third set of seven beads where we'll pray the glory be and again invoke St. Peregrine's intercession. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy St. Peregrine, Pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. We close this chaplet on the centerpiece or on the metal with this prayer to St. Peregrine. St. Peregrine, I confidently turn to you for help in my present sickness. For so many years, you bore in your own flesh this cancerous disease that destroys the very fiber of our being. Ask God to relieve me of this sickness, if it be his holy will. But if it should be God's holy will that I bear this sickness, obtain for me courage and strength to accept these trials from the loving hand of God with patience. He knows what is best for the salvation of my soul. I offer my pains to God with all the love of my heart for his glory and the salvation of souls especially my own. Amen. 
Saint Peregrine, beacon of hope, intercede for us who suffer from the many burdens caused by cancer. Holy Saint Peregrine, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you all for joining us. I loved hearing my boys' voices from the corners of the house. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Um, I do have four completed chaplets, but I can always make more. If you've decided you would love to have a St. Peregrine chaplet, please, please message me or Kara or Sharon or um, Leanne, and we would love to send you a chaplet. Um, but I do have these ready to go, and I think I'm going to keep one. Thank you all so much for joining in prayer with us. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Johnny said, thank you for being here. I love that. I love you all so much. So next week we will do St. Francis. I know Margaret's excited about doing St. Francis. That's one of her favorite saints. Um, and so next week will be St. Francis. Following that, we are going to pray again some chaplets we've already done so um it was recommended by sharon and i think it's a brilliant idea as we get closer to voting and the election we are going to pray the chaplet of um, our lady undoer of knots after saint francis and then following that we'll be praying the chaplet of saint dymphna so that's kind of a tongue-in-cheek uh, that one's for mental health, and we pray for all politicians and all world leaders, and we pray for clarity in their mind, heart, and soul, and we pray for good leaders to rise up, um, and so next week will be St. Francis, the week after will be Our Lady Undoer of Knots, and the week after that will be St. Dymphna, and then we'll start bringing in new saints again. Um, and so if you don't already have those, just let us know. Um, some of you might already have those from, from weeks past. So again, next week is St. Francis. The following week is Our Lady Undoer of Knots. And then it's St. Dymphna. Um, we love you all so much. Thank you. Y'all saying thank you. But you know what? Thank you guys because this just really feeds my soul. And I love praying with my boys. You don't lose your thank soul. Thank you. No, I... What did I say? Like this eats my soul. Oh, it feeds my soul, not eats my soul. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. False alarm. It feeds, he said false alarm. It feeds my soul. It does not eat my soul. Debbie, thank you for, and yes, thank you for praying with us as well for everyone who is sick. Um, and we continue to pray for you. Please, um, these videos are saved on Facebook, but they're also posted to our Holy Rosary Rosenberg YouTube channel and also Father Oren's channel. But if you ever wish to pray these at other times, I know Miss Virginia loves to pray them in the early morning, and so she usually watches these videos the following morning. Um, I told her we would be praying for her today because she did have her follow-up earlier today. Um, and so she knows now that we prayed for her. Um, and we pray for all of you all the time, but especially those that are suffering right now very physical, very physical sufferings. So I pray for all of you. So y'all have a great night. See you next week. Um, uh, an announcement for Holy Rosary Rosenberg. Um, we will be opening up Our Lady of Fatima Chapel in Marion Hall for personal private prayer in front of the tabernacle. Um, it'll be open from 10 until 3.30. So we'll be doing the closing prayer. will be the Chaplet of Divine Mercy at 3 if you happen to still be there praying privately. Um, so you're welcome to come visit with us. Mass um, is always at 1210 on Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. Um, the chapel will be open from Tuesday to Thursday uh, for the private mm -hmm. prayer before that. And the rosary is every day around 1140, 1145-ish. Um, Tuesday, tomorrow, you can actually experience exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. So in what we would normally call a like even me, growing up as a child, called that adoration, but it's actually exposition, where we see him in the um, uh, where we see him in the monstrance. So that's available on Tuesday nights and um, uh, five thirty, five thirty. All right, 
God bless you all. Have a great night and sleep with the angels. God bless you.